One other thing that I wanted to ask you, Jeff, I mean, there are many other things, but one thing is that our uh, people on the website know about the concept of the fool's cap method okay, and outlining something on one page, like a novel on one page. But I know that for Camp Abercorn, you did it a little differently. Can you tell me, what, what did you do? We have our own digital fool's cap because there's three of us writing, uh-huh. right? And, uh-huh. so, so, and we're in three different places. Meg's in Chicago, Matt's in, in Calabasas, and I'm here in, in L.A. or in, uh-huh. in, in Silver Lake. And so we have this program we use called Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O. It's basically little cards that you can rearrange and, and organize. Like, like three by five cards? Yeah, uh-huh. but they grow to whatever length uh-huh. you need them to be digitally. Uh-huh. So we type uh-huh. them up and can move them around simultaneously. Uh-huh. It's a little bit cheating because you can actually get things to be really incredibly long. <laughs> right, 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 right. right. <laughs> and yeah. I know we're supposed to keep it short. <laughs> But we, you know, we take your concepts or you know, the, the beginning, middle, and end thing and try to beat out the whole series and everything. Ah. And it's seven episodes, the show. So for the seven episodes, we have a, a fool's cap. And then we have one for each individual ah. episode. And then even sometimes scenes, if we're like trying to figure out what ah. the scene will be, we can ah, interesting. Ah. kind of get it on a micro so level. So you made the decision at some point to do seven, to limit yourself to seven episodes, huh? Yes. And so take me kind of through your thinking. This is season one. Right. Right. And mm-hmm. you're thinking of it in that way, right? That yes. you're also thinking there's going to be a season two. Da, da, da. So did you take it as a block and come up with, was it an entire unified structure for, this, for the seven episodes? So we have four main characters that we follow, and we knew where they would all start and where they would all end. Ah, you knew where they would end. Okay, at, great. In, in the first season. Uh-huh. And so from there, how we've structured it is each episode follows a character. So the first episode is introduction about everybody. Episode two is about Colin. Three is about Mark. Four uh-huh. is Zach. Five, and uh-huh. et cetera. So then we were able to kind of focus on beginning, middle, and end of that character's arc for each episode. Great. Good. I like it. Yeah. Speaking of the work habits and work ethics and stuff like that that you pick up from the Boy Scouts, I just wanted to ask you, Jeff, like, what's your day like? Or what's you're you're, you're a really an an independent artist, pursuing a dream, supporting yourself by your own day jobs and things like that. What's a typical week like for you? And, and, you know, and and for Meg and for Matt as you're doing Camp Abercorn. I mean, we've all put a lot of our side jobs on hold for the moment, and uh-huh. we're pretty um, full time working on the project. Uh-huh. So we'll set up a time, say 9 a.m., we're getting on Skype, and we'll be either writing or figuring out production. I mean, we were just doing a lot of filming lately for, for our video short film blitz. Uh-huh. And so, so that, during that time, it was a lot more, you know, with our entire crew of 30 people or whatever, going out and actually doing filming. So that's sort uh-huh. of a different... So you're, you're scheduled, you'll get together on Skype, you'll actually you'll be shooting. It's pretty much a full-time gig, huh? Mm-hmm. How long is, is a day for you? Are you still... It, uh, they don't have... Nightfall, <laughs> you're, still, you're still working on this, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, one thing I think is probably interesting for writers that's different from, for you compared to us is that we write all at the same time. So you're, ah. you know, you're typing away on your own ideas. Matt and Meg and I may all be working in the same Google Doc on the same script, you know, finishing each other's sentences, really? crossing wow. out what other wow. people are writing, wow. commenting. It's like, no, no kidding. sometimes it works really well, sometimes it's painful. <laughs> now, the other thing I wanted to ask you, Jeff, for our people, okay. that kind of the artist's life, the young 28-year-old guy who's in L.A. doing his thing, I just wanted to take him around your place here in Silver Lake. You know, Jeff, before we go into the bridge of the Starship Enterprise, I wanted to ask you about that, that sign up there. What, what is that all about? Uh, what good shall I do this day is a quote from Benjamin Franklin, um, and it is our compass guide slogan, I guess. The Boy Scouts have uh, do a good turn daily. Ah, so this is our... What good shall I do this day? That's yeah. great, great. So we're going into your office here to show kind of like in my office... It's just one laptop, you know, that, but this is like the Starship Enterprise. So let's, tell me, how do you work with these three screens? What do you do on them? So this one is a, a drawing tablet. So, you know, I, I went to art school and everything. So if you wanted to paint directly on the screen here, and then this is the secondary monitor. So you can like choose your paint brushes. Wow. And then you can paint over there. If I want it to be this, you know, this other weird shape, I can come over and... So would you do like 
storyboards or something on that? Yeah, ah, yeah storyboards, uh -huh. illustrations. Um, uh -huh. What's that one? So this monitor is sort of for, so I can play music and write directly. Oh, it has like a software like with yeah, the, where you can, you can write music on there? Wow. Record directly from here. And, wow. Huh. Um, and when you do your writing, like when you're working with Meg and Matt, where do you do that? So I, I work here and I write at this section and then Matt's over in his little station. And when uh -huh. Meg's here, Meg actually made a little... Meg's command center sign. She likes to claim that desk. Um, so the two of you guys, at some point, are working together in the same room. It's not always yeah, Skype. Yeah, not always. Uh -huh. we, we do a lot uh -huh. together in the same room. I know what this is, but tell me what this is on the wall here. This is our cast. This is, uh, these are our five main characters of the show. This is like the equivalent of Van Gogh's room in Arles, only the 2014 version of it, huh? I think that's like, generous. Uh, but. <laughs> well, like I say, when I was your age, I was living in a Chevy van, so <laughs> this is great. Okay. Thank you, Jeff. This is fantastic. Take me home to Camp Abercorn, the camp that I love, where the pine trees smell like butterscotch, and the pancakes are as hard as rocks, but I 